Okay, so for this video, I would like to do a quick unboxing of some rain pans for a mountain warehouse. And I um, guess I shouldn't use this because this is a very awkward tool to use, so never mind. All I need to do is just do this, and we're good. Is there any packing slips in there? Not, I think so. So you can see it here Mountain Warehouse Medium Paca Over Trousers. What is that supposed to mean? Okay, whoa. Did I see 215? Okay, no, never mind. 25.99 pounds. 39.99 Canadian. I was about to say, these do not need to cost so much. Oh, yes, it does indeed come with this bag. That's really cool. So, yeah, you can use different currencies. The pounds, whatever the Polish currency is, Canadian dollars, the euros, American dollars, and then the Australian dollars. That's the back. Nothing. So, yeah, that's really nice that it comes in this little bag. So, if you wanted to wear jeans and I want to suddenly throw these over or whatever in the first place, then you have that option of just carrying this bag around. Cool. Oh, there's some text here. It says Mountain Warehouse, men's pack of over trousers, waterproof, breathable, with taped seams, ESO dry. I'm guessing that's the trademark name for their technology. The trademarked name, I should say. Okay, let's see if it provides this information like how to wash it and what's not. So, oh, this is a British company? I don't know, I was under the impression that it was probably American or even Canadian for some reason, but it looks like it's British. I mean, the distribution center is probably British. I don't know, so, made in China. Uh, machine washes similar colors, do not bleach, do not tumble dry. Warm iron, do not dry, clean. Wait, so, okay. I guess the takeaway from this is that you have to... It doesn't say to wash it densely either, but um, I guess you have to hang it to dry because it says that you can't tumble dry it. You can warm iron it though. Uh, I don't know about that, but you can't dry clean it, and you can't use this as a soft. No, no, no. It says not to use softener rather. Okay, so there's shells and like it says nylon. All right, so that's that for that leakiness about washing it. Okay, so unlike my Hilly Hensons that I unboxed yesterday, which would have been October 1st, 2020, these do not look like they have some adjustability. No, they don't. But yeah, there's no way to adjust this, so you really have to know your size. And for comparison, actually, I should bring them in the frame since I still have them around somewhere. Yeah, this one, you can see it has this cord to allow you to adjust it. This thing does not. So, or does it somewhere? Hold on, maybe I'm not looking properly. Uh, if I have to be very honest, the quality of this view is kind of like a garbage bag. <laughs> Let's just hope it doesn't rip as easily because if it does, then yikes. Wait, what is this? Is this an empty pocket or something? Really? There's no pockets in this either? Dang! Wow, that's... Lame! Yeah, that's very lame. Hmm. So to be honest, I'm not... Uh, terribly impressed with this because... It has no pockets. And... Uh, well, there has to be pockets somewhere. There's no way you can't have... You can't not have any pockets. Well, I guess it is what it is, so I'm glad I got so tell you Henson's yesterday because those I believe do have pockets in me double check. Here they are. Actually no, it looks like none of these rain pants have pockets. But what this one at least has is its adjustability. No, it looks like none of them have rain pockets. Okay. 
So I guess if I were to get a third pair of rain pants next time, I should do more research to see if the pants is pockets or not. I kind of bought these ones somewhat hastily. And that wasn't a smart thing to do. So, uh, but yeah, this does not look like it's going to be super durable. Who knows? Anyways, that does it for this video. I do like that it comes with this neat little bag. But aside from that, I don't like that neither of them have no pockets. Okay, out.